more car lengths over Kyle Larson. Brad Keselowski's car is right in front of the leader now as they exit turn at number two. Back down the back stretch they come again. Call it five car lengths or so. Back to second place running Kyle Larson. Uh, Kozlowski goes up the racetrack and gives way to the leaders. So as they come to the stripe with eight to go, heavy traffic up ahead for the top two. Hamlin Larson continue to fight it out for the top spot. Denny Hamlin's going to have to make some real good moves here on these last few lap cars if he wants to keep Kyle Larson at bay. Down the back stretch they go again. Here goes Denny Hamlin. He gets underneath the 38. Now here goes Larson. He's about four car lengths off in turn four. Todd Gilliland gave way the next car in line will be the 51 machine of Justin Haley. We'll see how hard he wants to fight to keep Larson and Hamlin behind him. Hamlin leads by three car lengths. Jenny Hamlin in the bottom of the racetrack, goes right out next to the wall. Larson again uses the hill down in one and two, tries to close that gap. Here comes Hamlin, bottom of the racetrack. Larson right there, four car lengths back. As they come to the line now, just six to go. Still a lot of traffic for the top two to engage here in the closing lap. Catching the leaders, one thing, passing him is another. Denny Hamlin right now using the midpoint of the racetrack. Off of turn two, under the bridge. Larson pulls a little bit closer now. Call it two car links as Larson works into turn number three and four. Hamlin rides in the middle of the racetrack. Larson is there. Five laps to go here at Dover Motors Speedway, and Kyle Larson is putting the heat on race leader Denny Hamlin. It's down to a single car length as they roll into turn one. Hamlin is going to try to block on the low side. It's always going to be about how he can make use of this lap traffic as he tries to hold off Kyle Larson. Into the corner he goes. Hamlin once again going to go to work now on Carson Hosevar, who's of the high side of the racetrack. Now Hamlin goes to the high side. Larson dives to the bottom as he exits turn four, tries to pick up more ground as they pass the Carson Hover Hosevar machine with four to go. Hamlin now slides up the racetrack in one and two to try to get some of that same run that Kyle Larson has been getting. Larson down to two car lengths again into turn at number three. It's the uh, the seven car of Corey LaJoy in front of these two guys. Three laps to go when they come back to the stripe. Hamlin was trying to take away Larson's line last time by. They go around the lap machine of Corey LaJoy. Denny Hamlin hanging on to about a two car length lead. Everybody at the Monster Mile is on their feet to see who's going to win this race today here at Dover. Hamlin still has a two-car length lead into turn three, midway through with three, and uh, Larson trying to close that gap once again. Just one lap car up ahead, John Hunter Nemechek. Two laps to go. Larson again makes up ground heading into turn number one. Kyle Larson goes up to the high side of the racetrack trying to get all he can get off of turn two. Hamlin now, it's one car separating first and second. Down the back stretch they go into the bottom of turn number three. Hamlin will stay up high. Larson will go up even higher to try to close the gap. One lap to go. One mile to settle it here at Dover. White flag is in the air. Denny Hamlin has a two car length advantage over Kyle Larson as they roll up the banking in turn one. Hamlin goes up and takes the line that Larson's got down the back stretch. They go, call it a car link. Larson doing everything he can now to try to close that gap into three. He's got a car link and a half behind the leader. Larson picking up ground. Now his car wiggles. He's out of time. Denny Hamlin is going to hold on to win the Worth 400 here at Dover Motor Speedway. His third win in 2024. His second on the Monster Mile. Kyle Larson made him earn it every step of the way at the end. Came down to a great battle at the end. It looked for a while like Denny Hamlin might cruise to a win. He had to fight for every inch of ground out there with Kyle Larson in the closing laps. Larson just couldn't muster enough. The closest he could get was about two car lengths on a couple of occasions. At the end of the race, two tenths was the difference between victory and second place. Denny Hamlin gets his third win of the year to go along with a victory at Bristol Motor Speedway and Richmond Raceway. So for Denny Hamlin, a very profitable day. He called his shot, by the way, earlier on his own podcast, saying he was going to come up here and win. That's pretty brave to do. And right now he's doing his celebratory burnout along the front stretch, and that is brought to you by Sunoco. From fueling your favorite NASCAR teams to filling up at the pump, Sunoco is trusted to help vehicles perform at their peak. Sunoco, performance is what we do. Denny Hamlin now, Doug, moving into some rarefied air. That was his 53rd career win. That ties Lee Petty for 12th on the all-time win list. So Denny Hamlin wins here at Dover Motor Speedway, third W of the year. And 
you know, I, it, it, the, that conversation will be ensued through the rest of the year. Is this the year? The guy just stacks up. All he does is win. We'll talk about the championship question later on. Good race today in the sense for him, he got pushed at the end. Kyle Larson made it not easy on him at all. You make a mistake, and that's just one. And that was Kyle Larson was going to be there. And, again, I thought there was a lot of jockeying in the closing laps, trying to really take the arrow, doing that arrow deal, trying to find clean air. Uh, and Kyle Larson up front, Denny Hamlin trying to run his same groove and take that air away. So there's a lot of uh, little things going on there between these two guys. Two heavyweights in NASCAR, slugfest at the end, Hamlin holds on. Well, that's what you love to see. You want to see this race come down, you want it to be close. Let's go down to Wendy Venturini. Kyle Larson uh, gave a hard-earned fought for that, trying to go for that win. Was there any area of the racetrack that you felt you were gaining ground those last few laps? Not really. Um, it's just uh, it's so easy as the leader to you know shut off the air uh, to the guy behind you. You know, at a track like Dover, especially where it's low on grip as the run progresses. So I knew I was going to have an uphill battle once I lost the uh, the lead on that restart. Um, you know, I felt like if I could have got the lead, I could have maintained my run like I did, you know, in the second stage and, uh, been able to, to hold those guys off. But, um, yeah, it's, you know, it was a good day to get a lot of points and all that, but would have loved to, love to win, obviously. How is the passing overall at Dover? And when you walk away from this racetrack compared to some of the other tracks, is it considered a, a more enjoyable track for drivers? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, um, you know, it's a little bit easier to pass here than some of the others, but it's uh it's just as hard to pass the leader uh, for sure you know it's just the leader like i said it's just so easy for them to kind of maneuver their car and, and shut off the air behind behind them so yeah he did a good job with it not like he did anything special but um you know he's just able to kind of run middle of the racetrack and you know close me off on the top and if i was ever pulled to the bottom he could just pull down and shut my air off so um, it's just a product of the car and, and all that, but um, we did what we could. Just uh, wish I wouldn't have gave up the lead. Thanks. That's Kyle Larson leaving Dover, Delaware with that second place position. Victory Lane, and let's go down now to our Brad Gilly. Denny Hamlin, 54th career victory and a big win at Dover Motor Speedway. And how about that pit crew, first of all? That stage two break, they got you out first, and it was close. But was that the winning moment for you? No, the winning moment, because uh, Kyle got back around us, um, the winning moment was, you know, getting around him on that quick restart that we had when we had that caution. Uh, he controlled the restart. I got a really good restart on the bottom, and it, um, it was a key moment to clear him before that caution came out, similar to, like, what happened with Chase at Texas where I was controlling it until I wasn't. But uh, the tides turned today, and, and obviously I was able to control the restart. And our car was just so good on the short run. I knew he was going to make a charge, but I just tried my best to hit my marks. And as long as I hit my marks, I felt confident we could hold them off. And this team just did an amazing job. Then you start the season with a quarter-mile win with the Bush Light Clash. You get a half-mile win at Dover, followed by a three-quarter mile win at Richmond. Now a mile track here at, uh, at Dover. And we got a mile and a half and a mile third coming up next. How about that? All right, Denny Hamlin so there in victory. I'm going to need at least one win in the next three weeks before, uh, before the All-Star break. To, to not be depressed so you're gonna have to go out go go out and do that for me and i and i knew that these three tracks coming up you know here kansas darlington i mean we can win them all all right in victory lane denny hamlin is the winner of the worth 400 that's progressive victory lane sponsored by 